So next coming up is Michael Zion from uh, AppsFlyer. Uh, Michael is the DevOps engineer with AppsFlyer who is going to talk about waste-oriented uh, web architecture. So Michael, take it away. Thank you very much. So uh, welcome to my talk. I'll share my screen. Let's do it this way. Can you guys see my screen? I mean, I can tell you guys. So I'll just assume we can. So uh, I'm going to talk about waste-oriented hunch-based engineering. And uh, my name is Michael. I work at DevOps as a, at Apps, as a DevOps engineer. And uh, what does it mean, waste-oriented, hunch-based engineering? Before I begin, actually, is this talk for you? So in every lecture, in every talk, in every conference, the person talking saying, hey, I know you're waiting for lunch. I know you're devastated by lunch. But I know I only have the ability to catch the attention of the people who always forget to eat. So that's uh, just a side note. I'm looking at you guys. Uh, so uh, I want to start by showing you some concerning graphs. Um, the first graph is uh, the importance of production to engineers, opposed to the importance of feelings to engineers. And you can see the importance of production to engineers is constantly on the rise, uh, which is very concerning, while feelings are pretty much stagnated. Um, another concerning graph is the number of uh, cloud cost companies, uh, companies oriented towards saving your money as opposed to wasting your money. Uh, for comparison, you can see the number of falafel shops has stayed completely stagnated. Um, so very concerning uh, observations. I'm here to claim two things. One is feelings are more important than production. And the second is wasting money is more important than saving money. And I'll explain why. Uh, so let's start by wasting money. Uh, Aristo said wasting money makes you look rich. Now, I don't really know if he really said it, but uh, it really helps my argument here. And uh, the argument is that uh, if you look rich, you feel better. And feeling better, uh, as I already mentioned, is extremely important, more than production. So um, then you might ask me, but how can you, we waste money in order to look rich, in order to feel better? And it's a good question. Um, so I'll show you a couple of ways. The first way is uh, by increasing, increasing the traffic cost. Let's say you have service one talking to service two via HTTP in the same data center. What you can do is you can deploy service two in another data center, and then it triple or even quadruple the costs of the inbound and outbound traffic. So this is one way. Another way to maximize cost is uh, maximize CPU usage. Uh, and when I say CPU usage, I mean, Let's say service one is talking to service two via HTTP, the same as the previous example. And he sends a post request with a key. The key has a value. What we can do is we can hash the value. And since hash is not a reversible function, it would be very uh, hard for service two to uh, get the real value from the hash. Uh, so it, it really uh, makes the CPU work harder. And it's another very efficient way to maximize cost. But wait, is maximizing cost enough? So of course not, you already know the answer. Maximizing cost is just a way to feel better. You also have to be able to ignore the production burning. And only once you have this ability, only then you'll be truly happy. And um, this is when your feelings come to uh, their full potential. So uh, I, this is where I introduce OKFi. OKFi is a tool I built. Uh, in order to help you ignore production. And um, for example, you have a Python test, you run the test, and then uh, you pipe it into a KFI. Let's say the test fail, you get the response you want. And uh, it's super important, of course. So let's do a quick demo. Um, first of all, I'll show you how you run OKFI without anything uh, special. Just try OKFI, it's calculating a non-offensive response, and it returns you the response you want. Now let's uh, see the exit code. The exit code, oh, this is lovely. So let's say I run a bad command. And uh, the command is uh, yelling at me. I feel terrible. And uh, if I look at the exit code, you can see it's not zero. This is just terrible. What can I do? I can pipe it into OKFi. And then uh, OKFi will calculate an non-offensive response and will uh, give me the response code I deserve. And uh, Another cool thing you can do is you can pass the I am offended flag. When you pass the I am offended flag, 
uh, basically you get uh, an apology instead. And uh, there are a lot of interesting integrations, for example, Kausing. Um, so uh, you can get the Kausing, whatever it is you wanted to say. And uh, this is a, a tool to make this philosophy uh, come, to, come to life. And uh, in summary, wasting money makes you feel better. Feelings are more important than production. And uh, tools promote philosophies. And if you take one thing from uh, this talk, don't let it be the third one. Take either the first one or the second one. And if you want to join the community, feel free to scan this QR code. I work here at AppSphere as a DevOps engineer. This is my Twitter account, my GitHub account, and my Makusharim account. Uh, thank you for listening. Yeah, I thought I think you're muted. I can't hear you. Yeah, sorry. Now I can hear you. Sorry about that. Yeah. So thank you, Michael. And I just wanted to say thank you for the tool. I just love it when my CLI makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> Amazing. Happy to be awesome. here. Awesome. Thank you. So next.